Hi, uh, this is a small tip that I'd like to share with you guys. My boiler engineer came for service and he recommended me and I've actually trialed it and uh, it worked. So I thought to share with you guys. So I'm using this Ecotech Plus uh, Wellint boiler. Now, I don't have the thermostat on the wall which is functioning. So I'm using my heating which is direct through the um, this dial here. So I have, you know, put it on the timer and you know, the heating switch is on for however long I want that to work. Uh, but with regards to the heating, as you see here, there's another knob and this is actually the temperature knob. So if you notice, um, now this is, my temperature was set to 67. So as you can see, so soon as I uh, move the knob, it will change the temperature. So if I move it back, it kind of goes down. And if I put it up, it goes uh, back up. So I had the previously temperature set to um, around 62 degrees on uh, for the heating. So the thing is with the, the swelling boiler, you can uh, set your temperature for the water and you can set the temperature for the heating, which means that this will control your um, flow temperature in the radiators uh, through this knob and that will control your uh, hot water in the tabs. Now, 62 degrees was, uh, I, I thought which was kind of reasonable, but my engineer uh, uh, recommended me to uh, put it up if I want to basically save uh, the energy. And actually that, did work so I'll show you my bill as well for the last uh, month so it, it kind of shows that there, there was a uh, you know decline in the uh, in energy consumption so basically all you need to do just make sure that you set this temperature the flow temperature uh, based on depending on the weather so we had in UK here we had a sub-zero temperature for a few days so it kind of that 67 degree kind of worked really well for us uh, because it very quickly heated up the um, the rooms even by uh, you know just uh, turning the heating on for about 10-15 minutes in an hour uh, was sufficient uh, but now obviously the weather is getting better slightly uh, so we are out of that sub-zero zone and uh, what I'm going to do, I was going to basically set it back to around 62 degrees, which hopefully should be sufficient for this sort of weather, because uh, most of my uh, heating, the, the timing is about 15, 20 minutes in an hour uh, during the night and then the early hours of the morning. So I think that's kind of fairly uh, reasonable temperature to set. And you know, when you don't touch this, this uh, temperature here indicates our uh, temperature of the water. So you can also, you know, just change that as well. It's set to around 40, 42. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope this helps. So you can, if you are using the, uh, you know, the, um, the timer, time switch, then hopefully that should help.